Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and that you have a fantastic week. So today what we're going to do is an art journal page. It's going to be, I'm going to start out and it's going to be a very simple, easy art journal page, but you definitely can add things to it to make it more mixed media, to make it more, you know, anything that you want. Um, you know, one of my things that I go to are hearts. I love hearts. It's easy. You can do so many different things. So today we're going to do, I'm in the mood for blues and, um, we're going to go and do blues. You can see that this has a little blue eye kind of put on it. So that's kind of where I'm starting. Now I'm going to use, can you see this? Let's see how well you can see. Look at that. Now that lights too. look at that see that that's shifting it's a color uh shift paint i've shown this before from folk art look at that look at that look at that beautiful so i think i might use a little bit of this i have some purple let's see what we can do here the things kelly does let's let's hashtag things kelly does when nobody's looking i'll sit here for hours look at that and this is like I said, purple, and you can kind of see there. It gives you some some shine. Look how beautiful. Look at the rainbows like in there. Oh. Hard to see there. It's a dang light just in here. I have an idea for my lighting, so I'm gonna see if Dave can help me. Although he doesn't like to walk in. There you go. He doesn't like to walk into my room. And then there's this color. I'm not even telling you the colors because I just suck like that. But look. So when you go to different angles, you'll see differently. Let me tell you the colors real quick before I get started, because I know you guys will yell at me. This is reflective uh, paint is what they call it. And this color is aqua. I was going to say aqua flesh, aqua flash. Look at that. That's what this is. Beautiful color, right? And then this color is violet flash, not flash cow, flash. And then this color is blue flash. <laughs> oh, Lord. And then I'm just using my regular folk arts. This is coastal blue. This is, I don't know what I'm going to use, ultramarine blue. And then I have some reds, which I'll talk about. So, I'm going to only use half a page and I'm going to use no gesso. We're just going for it. Now I like to go light to dark. So I'm going to start with the coastal blue and this is how we're going to start. Now, here's the thing. I'm just putting down acrylic paint. Of course you can put down modeling paste, molding paste, whatever you call it, texture paste. You definitely can. You can put down, um, Oh, get some blue, uh, scrapbook paper and glue it down or napkins or whatever to start your base. It doesn't, you know, now the reason I'm not gessoing is because I'm going to have a few layers of paint down. And like I've told you before, if you don't have gesso, you can use white paint and here we're going to use some light blue or coastal blue as they call it i'm using my big simply simmons flat 50 brush that i got in a um oh, what did i get this in one of those art boxes art snacks maybe years ago a couple of years ago that i did i always thought about going back to art snacks i don't know if it's worth it or not because i noticed they give a lot of pens and i do enjoy the pen marker pen pencil that kind of thing um but i don't know all right so you can see how very quickly now i'm gonna obviously put you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna clean it off that's what i'm gonna do maybe i'm not gonna wet it maybe i'm gonna do this if you don't want to do the other side kind of matches my nail polish with my thumbs that I'm going to do today. Um, if you don't, you know, want to do it on this side, use a piece of printer paper or journal paper or mixed media paper, just to kind of wipe off. Emily used this last. <laughs> she used actually blue, I believe uh, is the color that she used. Okay. So now I'm going to pick 
This is a darker blue than this. This color is blue willow. And then this color is ultramarine. And I don't know if you can tell the difference, but this one's a like a purple, pur purple or <laughs> more purple uh, thing. So I'm not going to necessarily use that. I'm going to open this one. My problem is I usually don't open these correctly. I always take the lids off. That's how I usually paint with them. So sometimes I'll be opening like this. I always take scissors and just cut and then peel it off. Very simple. Oh, look, this is a, um, look at that. The color. This is the pink flash. Look at that. There it is. Beautiful, right? Okay. Anyway, so I'm going to use the blue willow and I'm going to go around. I'm going to squeeze it. I didn't shake it well enough, but that's okay. I'm going to go around the outsides. Now I want to use a um, makeup sponge, which you can get these at the dollar store. You get like 50 in a bag for a um, dollar, right? If you don't uh, have these or have the ability to get them, I know a lot of you can't leave the house. Um, I know a lot of you don't have the money, then just use your paintbrush or um, use a paper towel. Maybe I'll use a paper towel today just to kind of show you, but you definitely can use whatever, whatever you have. All right. I always have paper towels sitting here and all I'm going to do, and you can see that's quite a squirt there, you know, <laughs> that's what she said. Oh goodness. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Very And I want to leave the middle. Now I'm going to frame this page as if it's a small canvas. And that's what I'm going to look at this as. All right, so you can see it's spread really good. And then I'll take this and just kind of rub it here. Rub it here, rub it there. And that's, that's really it. Now I'm going to go in for some texture. So you can spray water. Oh, I'm going to just be a mess today with the paint. So I'm going to spray just a little bit of water. I'm going to take my rag. I'm going to turn it and turn it again. So we kind of have a cleaner uh, spot. And then I'm going to go in. Now here's where you can twist and turn and even um, pull it in the middle some more. See how I'm kind of doing those outsides, twisting it, and then kind of moving in the middle a little bit. On my table, though. Okay. So. And then, you know, where you have the darker patches, just go back and twist it. Twist it, twist it, twist it, turn it. It's like I'm talking to my nephew. I love to sing. Twist it, twist it, twist it, turn it. Now look how beautiful that outside looks. Now you can see here, it's a little darker on the outside, you see? So if that bothers you, you don't dig it, go back like this and turn it. Turn it, turn it, turn it. You know, to get up. Now the problem, the reason it's doing that is you see this, it's not absorbing anymore. Why? Because it's saturated with paint. So you can go over here again and we're gonna turn it again. Now, I'm not going to spray any more water, I don't believe. I'm going to try not to because I don't necessarily need it. I'm just going to go and kind of give it a brush. Yeah, there you go. There we go. So I'm going to show you. Look how pretty that outside is. Two colors. Oh, what the heck I did there? I'm going to wet my finger and see if I could kind of blow that out a little bit, but it doesn't look like it. it looks like, now look what I did. This is why you don't try to fix things. You go with things because that's just, that's what you should do. You just go with the flow. Why can't I go with the flow? Why? So I'm just going to touch my finger in a little bit of that paint and tap it. Tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it. And then I'm going to go up here too because I noticed that I went a little crazy. And I'm going to leave that sit there for a minute because if I go wipe it now, what's going to happen? It's going to, um, 
lift all off and that's not what we want. So I'm going to leave it there a second. It happens. Look, it happens. Now you see this come out so pretty so far and we're going to do a heart in the middle. Um, but we're going to continue on with the background. Now at this point, like I said, you could have put your scrapbook paper down, painted over it, used different blues. Um, a really cool way, especially for people who are maybe more advanced would be, and I'm going to do one of these cause I love doing it on the quilts where it's like, you're doing, what word do I want? I want to say almost impressionistic, impressionistic. Um, kind of things where you're doing different blues to kind of get this kind of look. So you do like scrapbook paper, pick the blues that you have and just kind of cut it into pieces and kind of make it flow into something similar like this. And then maybe take a, a white, I was going to say a light white, hello Cal, a light blue or something like that over it. Um, you know, or just like I said, can you imagine doing that with the different blues. We'll do that. We'll do that one day. But right now I'm just going to, I'm going to pat it. I'm going to pat it. And I'm going to go down here just to kind of blend it in a little bit. I really don't want to add water um, because I know it's going to come off too much. And then just kind of, all right. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some white. What did I do with my white? I know I have new. Okay. So I had to, I finally got rid of that white that wouldn't, um, that I had absolutely hardly anything left in it. And here's where the fun part starts. Okay. So, oh, look at that. I'm going to go in here and scoop up. You see, that's quite a little plop and go on another page. And plop it around. <laughs> How you like my nail? I don't like wasting. Sometimes I do waste. I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes people will write me and say, "Oh my gosh, I can't believe you wasted." I'm just put that there for now. And I'm just like, I'm not meaning to waste. It just sometimes happens. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is take some more of this light blue and just a squeeze like that. And then I'm going to take, I'm trying to, trying to mix this white up because it's new and you want to kind of shake it so you don't get liquid. And I'm going to do some of that and I will start with that. And then I'm going to squirt it. I'm going to heavily squirt them. And I'm going to take my paintbrush. And you can use whatever one you want. I'm going to wet it and I'm not going to, um, you know, like dry it off at all. I'm going to go in with the light blue first, but honestly you can go in with whatever color you want first. And you see how I'm now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to twist this. I'm going in on my paper, on my notebook here, and I'm going to, Look at that. I'm doing both sides for whatever reason. Okay. So you see how I did that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my heat gun. Uh, you can use a hair dryer or you can just leave it sit, literally leave it sit for a minute, two minutes. Listen to your favorite song. I always say, or watch your favorite YouTuber, you know, a video and it'll be dry enough to move on to the next part. The reason I dried is I don't necessarily want everything to blend together when I go to do this with the white. You can also just take a paper towel or a rag and dab it. Dab a dab a dab. Angie, Angie, Angie. You can go check out Angie's art channel. Just search that in the YouTube search bar and you'll find her art channel and she does live streams and all kinds of stuff. Okay, so you can see that's where that is. Now I'm going to rinse this brush out and I'm going to go into, you guessed it, the white. 
Uh, I don't know. I'm being smart ass. Okay, so. Now, you see I'm rolling that all on it. Now, some, oh, where's my keyboard? Something else you can do is turn it because you'll get it at a different angle than you were doing prior. And I'm trying to stay, you know, on the outside there. Now, I know it looks like a lot, but we're going to be putting a heart in the middle. So, you know, and that is that. So I'm going to dry that. I'm going to wipe this up because I just don't have the room at the moment to turn pages and all that kind of stuff. And I didn't put a thing there for me. And I'm going to move it here. And then I'm going to dry it. I hold the, you know, I hold it up high so it doesn't necessarily push it away, but you don't have to. You can use a straw, do the same thing and blow it. I don't think I have a straw here. I always think to grab a straw and put it in here, but I guess I don't. But you definitely can put flops down and blow uh, to get different looks, you know? And that'll be, that'll be nice too. If you can't do this or you don't want to do it like this, you can take your, I'll show you. And this is all, you know, to help people who are starting out as well as people who know, you know, are kind of moving on to the second thing. Now, what you can do if you don't want to swish it around is just take your paint and your paintbrush and pull it and you drip it. That wasn't done very well, but you pull it and you drip it. And you see, and you can just keep doing that and you'll get the same idea, right? And you can even do this on top of here if you want. It's totally up to you. But so you can do it like this as well, where if you don't want to do it like this, maybe you're doing it in bed or you're on the couch. Maybe you want the kids to do it with you and you want it to be, now see how I can blow it and you get like really cool look um you know so maybe you want it more controlled and then you can do it like that any color that you want you can do it on this side make it drip this way this way whatever you want it's all you do it's all you okay i think we should be okay enough there to continue on so now I'm going to take, um, this is just a pencil. It is a uh, water activated pencil. This is from Derwent. It's Derwent Sketching Medium Wash 4B. I got this because uh, I know a lot of you uh, cannot find the Stabilos and you have to order offline and all that kind of thing. Um, and you don't like to do that. So this was at uh, AC Moore. So this is just Derwent sketching. It's where their art supplies are, where um, you can get markers and all that. Uh, just look for medium wash, Derwent sketching. I also got the dark wash and the light wash um, to play with. So I'm not always using the Stabilo because I know a lot of you don't like that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and you don't have to do it with any kind of pencil. You can just free form it. But I'm gonna go in and do a heart and I'm just going to lightly sketch a heart. I'm not the best heart drawer, but you see, that's it. Maybe you want to use a stencil. This is where, you know, just you do you because it's going to be, you know, you, it's a heart. It's going to be beautiful. Okay. So now I'm going to take red and I'm not going to worry about the, uh, color shift on the outside yet. We'll add it coming up. Um, this is apple red and this is naphthol crimson, which is much darker. So I'm going to go in with this one first. I'm going to open it. Cause like I said, I'm the worst. I take lids off and do it, but I know it's annoying to some of you. So because y'all don't like it. I'm going in. I'm only using one brush other than the big one for the background, which you could use a makeup sponge. You can use a kitchen sponge. 
um, which I've done before. You can go to the dollar store, get the kitchen sponges, or maybe you have one, uh, clean it out, and you can use that to do your background as well. If you want me to show you any of these, let me know down below, and in the next video, I will show you using a kitchen sponge doing the background and that kind of thing. Okay? No problemo. All right, so I'm just squeezing it. I'm going to use the same paintbrush. I'm going to clean it off, and I'm going to dry it this time. And I'm just going to dab it a little bit and because I don't want it too wet and I'm going to go in and follow and like I said you can definitely go in and um just straight up paint it you know that's up to you okay use what you have q-tips you can do a cute use q-tips and do dot i mean all oh, the stuff you can do with stuff at home don't get caught up i think it's wonderful for people who are more advanced and and like to do more full mixed media or use uh, art products that they bought i think it's wonderful i love that myself but i get more of a kick out of helping people who uh are new or don't have a lot of money who write me and say Oh my gosh, I love that you do this. You know what I mean? Makes me look at things in a different way. So, you know, I love that. And I also love painting and doing it the other way too. You know, depends on the mood. Believe it or not, I get a lot more feedback when I do these kind of videos than when I just do a regular one. A regular mixed media one. But I am going to be doing more. I'm going to be doing more advanced, you know, advanced is such a crap word, but more, um, oh, I need Emily here to help me with the words. What word do I want to say? I guess I'll use advanced, but I don't really want to use that word, but yeah, more better. <laughs> All right. So you can see my heart is not perfect by any stretch of the imagination and I'm okay with that. So I'm going to. Now here, see, I'm doing this on this side. Um, and I know you guys keep asking me to show you my other uh, art journal page, art journal books that I've made and that I've used out of magazines and I'm going to. They're in the pile behind me that I have to go through. And um, I just didn't feel like doing it this morning. But um, I will do, what I'll do is I'll do another art journal page. I don't know, one of these days coming up on this page using the same colors um basically uh so you can you, you know what i'm saying but it won't be the same page if that makes sense so that's i'll just keep wiping there okay so now i'm going to rinse it off and i'm debating on whether to dry i'm just going to wipe my this off i'm debating on whether to dry it before i go in with the darker or not but i think i'm just going to go in i'm going to shake it because this is almost empty And I don't necessarily want all that background coming through yet. Now, here's where I'm just going to pull this off. But you see, this is what I love. If you don't have a lot of supplies or you don't have a lot of room, and let's say I always tell you guys, Roy G. Biv, black, white, take those, put those in a little bag with a paintbrush and even a little uh, cup that you get from the dollar store or wherever for water, or uh, you can get a... Um, uh, what are they called? Tupperware, you know, that you get from the dollar store that has a lid that you can always keep water in. I have things like these. I don't know if this would leak with water, but it's a screw on lid, you know, for supplies that you could put in there if you want. Um, and then just keep in a little bag so you can take with you and sit with a pencil and a pen or whatever you have that you can just do a little bit of uh, art journaling or something while you're sitting. Um, or maybe you're at a doctor's appointment. Maybe you're sitting in a car waiting for somebody. Maybe you're sitting at the table. Maybe you're in your art room. I don't know where you are, but then you have a few things around. So I'm going to go in and stir this up, but I take always from the lid too. So I use that as my palette, but obviously you can do, you know, whatever you want. Okay, so I'm just going to go around, see if I can get this covered a little bit more. And you want to make sure that bottom is fairly dry because what will happen is it will lift off 
with you know, the paint that you're putting on it. So you want to make sure it's dry unless it's soaking wet, which then there's no point in putting another coat on yet. So I'll dry this and then go on again. Oops. And yeah, so you can gesso your heart first or put white paint down first. You definitely can do that. But, you know, maybe you don't feel like it or have the time or you want an art journal and you don't, you know. You can also cut your heart out of a piece of red paper, red scrap of paper. You definitely can do that and glue it on as well. You know, this isn't going to be as uh, opaque as I want it, but I'm going to splash on it as well. So I'm really not going to worry too much about it. I'm just going around one more time. And I'll show you what that pencil does once this is dry to outline this. And I don't want to splash on it until I get it dry and outlined. Now you can outline it with um, just black paint, black acrylic paint. Something else you can do, which it just dawned on me, is... Um, you know, maybe you have sprays, the acrylic sprays. Maybe you made them. Maybe you, you know, you have them. Um, you can do that in the background too and just spray. It doesn't matter. Now you see mine's kind of wonky, but I dig it like that. Um, if you don't like it like that and you want it more, you know, more heart-like, I guess, go for it. You can glitter the heart up. Oh, girl. Okay, so. That's what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to dry it and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. You can use a watercolor pencil too. Don't forget if you have a uh, watercolor pencils or anything watercolor crayons, you know, watercolor crayons or anything like that, use a black in that as well or to draw or whatever. Don't get caught up in what one person does. You all know? Okay. So then I'm going to take my pencil again. I don't know what I did with my other ones. I'll have to get them out and show you the next time so I can show you what. Uh, I also have charcoal ones, but those aren't water activated. Sharpie has them too. They are... Um, great they write on anything they write on your acrylic uh paint they write on plastic glass all that kind of stuff um but they're not water uh soluble i don't believe i just think they write on things i do have those i have to check them out we'll do a little video coming up just playing for like a quick uh video so i'm gonna go on the outside kind of on the blue and I'm just going to start on this side because I want to make sure that it's what I want. Maybe it's not going to be dark enough. Maybe it'll be too dark. I don't know. Because it is medium. It's not as black as I might want it. So I'm going to clean off my brush. I'm going to dab it onto paper towel because I want it wet, but I don't want it to drip. And then let's see. Oh, yeah, that's nice. See how that liquefies that? But see how that kind of outlines it now you can see like right here i did a little dark but i like it because i wanted it a little darker there because of the way it kind of angles so it's like a shadow so i liquefied i call it liquefying please i, I don't know what word but you get what i'm saying 
So you see how I got that going and you see how it adds that nice shadow. So I'm going to go on the other side and we can go back once that kind of dries uh, to add a little bit more. And I'm just right on the outside and you can do it on the red as well on the paint. It's up to you wherever you want it. Very simple. This isn't, and you can really, like I said, you can go crazy. You can put red glitter. You can put your uh, rhinestones around the outside. You can do so much. I'm just going to dip the tip. <laughs> That's when she, okay. Stop the jokes, Kel. All right. And then I'm just going to go around. Bring it up a little bit more there. Take it down. You see? So I need more there. Now this is wet here, so I can definitely go in with my pencil while that's wet, and it will lay down a little wet. I don't, it, it kind of doesn't do it as opaque as I like it. It makes it a little bit more transparent. And if that's what you're going for, by all means. You know, so I'm going to leave that dry for a second. I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to dab it off. This is pulling a little too much down here. I don't want it to pull into a puddle. Me, I'm always like, more is more, more is more. But sometimes it's like, no. Yeah. Well, that's great when your paintbrush falls apart while you're doing a video, isn't it? Just shows you how real I am that I leave sometimes my paint paintbrushes in water and they peel. Okay. That's all I'll do with those. I think you get the point. Right here, the light, I think, is taking that. Yeah, see, that's how it looks. When the light's on it, it kind of like gets that shine, but there you go. That's what we're going for. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of my white because I want it to kind of be just a little bit of the white, like a little, bloop, little bit of the blue. Okay, there we go. Just the littlest bit. Take my paintbrush again, get it going. Yeah, and I'll do the blue first again, and I'm just going to roll it, roll it, roll it. Get that nice and wet. That's it. I don't want to do too much. I'll do a little bit more over here. All right. Okay, same thing. Going to roll off a little bit. Get that white going. I need a little bit more water. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Oh, gosh, come on, Kel, with the water. Oh, it's not being there we go and like i said you could turn it and i know it's hard for you guys to see there but can you see you can do that and i will wipe this up real quick i this is a mess but what i do is i open it up so it's all the way opened and then I'll lay it like on my table when I'm done. So like when I come in the next time it's dry, just what I do. And then I will dry this again. Now, if this is too much for you, you don't have to do that much. i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in with some black. I want black. I want it a little darker. It's darker there. Yeah. See, it's hard to see because I'm getting the light. Okay. So anyway, we're going to take some, I think I'm going to go with the, uh, what do you call it? Blue flash. Give it a shake. Open it up. Okay. Open, open, open. Come on. I'm horrible at opening stuff. 
And this comes with like a plastic on it still. I guess it's supposed to come up, but they never do. <laughs> Such a mess. Ah. It's me. It's just the way I do things. Okay. All right, then. Let's take a... makeup sponge. Let me just pour a little bit of this out I like that. Oh, can you see? I don't know if you can see how well you can see in there. Nah, it's not giving you the, the look that I love. I mean, it's like all iridescent. It's so pretty. I want it to kind of Oh my God, this table. Yeah, it's not giving me what I'm wanting. Wonder. Right, I know I'm gonna put black there because that's driving me insane. I like it darker. I just wanted to add some of this because it's so pretty, but it's really hard for you guys to see on camera. Like right now, it's like at a purple shade. I know it's hard. I got that off the camera there. I just realized. Yeah, so you can't really see that like I can. You know what I mean? But it's gorgeous. And I wish you guys could see it. Yeah, you can't see it. I can see it, but you can't see it. I was just going to go over. Like just sponge it so it has a little bit. Because it really is like transparent in a sense. And if it gets a little thick, you can add a little bit of water. You don't want to add too much, but it'll just help it kind of go around a little more. It's a shame you can't see it. You can see a shine, but you can't see like where it uh, is, like the color change. You know what I mean? setting okay all right I'm done playing with that that is fun that color is that's a lot of fun I'm gonna do this on a like a sign plaque thing or something all right now I'm just gonna go to find my black where is my black um am I out of black too can't be out of black Mm-hmm. Are you black? Nope, you're green. Well, umber is gonna be too brown. I don't know, maybe I'm out of black already. Thunder blue. Maybe that'll be pretty. Thunder blue. That's like a dark. Maybe that'll be good. This is this is when you play. Give it a squeeze. Ugh. didn't shake it well enough that's okay all right doing that I want to dab off as much as I can mix it around that clear stuff that comes out is um the uh how would I say like the almost I, it's not matte medium but it is like you know like what they put the color in to get color that's why you want to kind of mix it if that ever happens to you all right let's see yeah And look, if you have different brushes and you have a smaller brush, use it. I'm just trying to use one brush to show you that you don't need 20. I'm going to go back in. Sometimes I don't even do it. Like I just do it 
where it's comfortable for me to do it. Do you know what I mean? Like I don't have to necessarily start anywhere. Any uh, certain place. I like that better. And once it dries, you can go over it again if it's a little streaky. Art is just something to play, you know? Just something to do. I'm going to put... little dots down there and I think so my white's kind of you see how I muted my white and all by putting that other on there I like that but sometimes I like it stark as well like where it's really white like you can see on here I know what I'll do all right so I have that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab one of my stamps and let me just grab it oh Okay, let's see. What one do you want? Let me do smile. And you can go and, and lighten this up. Take your Q-tip or your makeup sponge or your finger and, and maybe you don't want, you know, you want these edges a little more blurred. Like you can go and kind of, you know, Pull them out a little bit, blur it a little bit, do whatever you want, you know? Maybe you don't want it as uh, opaque as it comes out. So you could do something like this. Mine's already dry, but you get the, you get the point. Okay. All right. Woo. Sounds like I ate too many wings yesterday. Okay, so now I have this. It's a stamp, it says smile. I'm just gonna put it in my paint and tap it and look on the back to see if it got everywhere. It didn't, so I'm gonna make sure. Do it again. Come on. Okay. I got it, and I think I'm going right into here. I'm just going to lay it down and give it a push. I like these foam stamps. I don't even know where I got these. They had a bunch of different sayings on them, like believe, and they were all great sayings. So I was like, I mean, I got these years ago. And I'm just kind of giving it a little push. Lifting it up. And it's a smile. And then I like to wipe these off. Just, you know, just put, I can do it over here just to get just to get most of the paint off I don't get all the paint off of it obviously if you've seen this it's full of paint but just so it doesn't um mar the letters so when I use it again it uh you know is like thick or what have you yeah and you could do this with any color I just did it because it was sitting here to show you and that's really it that's really it. And I wish you could see how beautiful the page is, but it's just not coming up that way. You see a little bit on the bottom, how it has that purple hue to it, but I'm just not doing what I want it to do. But yeah. Oh, come on. So it's just plain, you know what I mean? And, and you don't have to keep it, you don't have to keep it in necessar necessarily a certain way um, when you start. You know, if something you don't dig, you just kind of move on or add something or or do whatever. And, you know, it's just a cute. This could be an ATC card. This could be an art journal page. It could be a canvas. You can use a different word. You can, if you have good penmanship, you can write the word. You can keep the sprinkles out of the heart. You know what I mean? You can add more. Um, I was going to add some dots around. That's why I did this. But you can add, you know, you want to have some white maybe uh like i don't even know if i have any white spray sitting here let's see no no why don't i have my white spray here where is my white spray um, crap 
well anyway if you have white spray you could spray it a little um a little more on there so you get it you know you see what i'm saying you can really really do your own thing to it so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did uh, i know i was a little long because i talked a little bit too much but oh well uh, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy this video, and any questions, of course, leave them down below, or you can reach me at any of my uh, social media down below, email, um, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, email, it's all down there, uh, and you can contact me, you can tag me on Facebook, show me what you did, uh, my link to my group All Things Creative is down there. And yeah, I hope you all have a great day. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting and progress, not perfection. This is just playing and having fun and uh, doing something, you know, that you're, you had fun and, and arted with. You know what I'm saying? So that's it. I love you guys so very much. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. I do have another uh, question coming up. And... I'll see you probably tomorrow with that. Bye, guys.